Hey guys, today we'll talk about my top 5 support units for Space Marines. These are not necessarily units that will be doing damage to your opponent. However, these will give you an opportunity to actually score the victory points and potentially win the game. So it could be argued that having them in correct order, quantity and using them correctly may be even more important than your actual damage dealing stuff. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And the fifth place are surprisingly the humble intercessors. I was always a very big fan of these models. I think they look very cool and they have a very interesting theme around them, the lore as well. So I was always waiting for them to be good and they were kind of good in some chapters, sometimes very rarely, but mostly they were performing this support duty. By good, I mean being also able to do damage. Now they don't really do damage, they only support your victory point scoring operations. And the only reason why you take them now is because of their objective secured ability, which is essentially uh, when they sticky the objective, as people like to call it, when you capture the objective in your command phase, hold it in your command phase, then you are able to move away from that objective and it still is under your control. Very useful rule, uh, very useful if you're suddenly battle shocked and you no longer have OC, you will still control the objective or just to have that unit move elsewhere and do other things as it allows you to essentially have more units than you actually have and considering that these guys are relatively cheap for a five-man unit 85 points and they have oc2 so they're kind of okay as a battle eye unit in that sense i think they could be an okay investment for some specific units and that's why they take the fifth place why i think they're not even close to being higher than that is because they are still too expensive for a unit that doesn't do any damage to things that you want to do damage to so they only have two shots each at strength 4 ap minus one damage one which is close to nothing in the current uh, meta game uh, against most units you'll do almost nothing for 85 points uh, when like eradicator squad even costs i think 90 or 95 points for a three-man squad which they will actually be able to do damage obviously it's a different kind of a squad but still and they also don't do anything in melee so apart from maybe sergeant who can take a thunder hammer so they probably need to drop in price a little bit especially considering other units that you will see in this top five but still i think intercessors are not bad and just so we're clear a lot of other units in the codex could be on this fifth place it could be in infernus marines for their battle shock ability and the flamers they provide flamer support they provide with the um overwatch it could be eliminators who are a bit cheaper and also have stealth and can snipe characters if you want to and so on and i'm obviously not talking about characters here because you would definitely see the lieutenant with the combi weapon in this list but you will not because we're talking about squads here one important piece of advice when you're using sticky objectives units is don't forget that your opponent can have teleportation redeploys uh, just fast units in general so always consider that in order to preserve your objectives uh, under your control because it's very easy to lose track of a home objective and think that it's safe when suddenly your opponent uses something like a strategy or enhancement anything and teleports some small unit into your back lines and now you have to deal with that stuff and you may not necessarily have resources to do so by the way i've just received this awesome review from one of my patrons adam seems to be very happy with my coaching services so big thanks to adam for his kind words and that's why i wanted to let you know that if you want my help fixing your list preparing you for tournaments or just helping you get your game to a next level check out the links in the description for my patreon and i'll see you there Fourth place, Assault Intercessors with Jump Packs. So now we are getting into some better units and these guys are almost universally better than the Intercessors because they can fly, they have a 12 inch move which is huge. Uh, they do mortal wounds to units they charge for each model with an engagement range on a 4 plus, so for each model in your unit of course. They fight much better in combat because they all carry chain swords, so it's 4 attacks each at 4 minus 1. One, one and they get deep strike somehow they still cost 85 points for a five-man squad so they obviously are better than the intercessors they of course don't have the sticky rule so not exactly uh, the uh, uh, straight swap from the intercessor and the oc is also lower it's oc1 compared to oc2 on the intercessors because these are not battle line even though they're intercessors which is funny their 
role, I think, is fast, cheap skirmishing unit that you send out uh, onto objectives, send out to clear your opponent's cheap stuff off that objective, and they will, in most cases, be able to do so. And there are still cheap enough so that you can include one or two of these without actually sacrificing any of your other assets in the list hence why i rate them relatively highly another reason why their 12 inch move compared to the 6 inch move is so important is because you will be able to position them much more freely with that 12 inch move plus advance they have and potentially protect them for longer than if it, you were trying to do that with a 6 inch moving squad just so you know you could also build these guys as a non MSU style so not a support piece more of a like skirmish slash damage piece uh, which is a 10 man unit which is a 170 points uh, plus probably a chaplain with a jump pack which is uh, 75 so you're looking at uh, 245 if my count is correct and uh, this is a nice unit I'm not sure you would really get your money's worth points worth of the investment here uh, because unlike the actual assault intercessors these guys don't have the reroll to wound which is very helpful when you are uh, wounding most things on fives with the chaplain's ability uh, re being able to reroll is extremely important these guys try to substitute that with the mortal wounds and the mortal wounds only go off when you are within engagement range with the particular model and uh, it means that you will probably in most cases will only roll like five or six dice and um it means that you will probably do three or four mortal wounds if you're lucky. And that does not offset the lack of full rerolls to wound that you get on the Assault Intercessors base. So I think they are best suited for the support role. But if you really are feeling great about that, definitely try out the 10-man version. Of the new company heroes. They are a weird unit and I think a lot of people don't understand why they are what they are and how to use them. I think they're best uh, thought about as a way to make your really good captain that you are taking anyways. Uh, and the captain who doesn't want to join any other squad uh, just to make him from a character into a big chunky unit for just 95 points that's the best way to interpret i think this data sheet they are kind kind of weird you get four very chunky space marines with four wounds each for some reason don't ask me why they have four wounds each when blade guard are three um okay they're just they're veterans i guess and they also get minus one to wound so they are hard to get rid of whatever you're shooting at them it is not going to be efficient in most cases and uh, they are oc2 each and they also give that oc plus one oc to the captain who joins them uh, they have an extra special heavy bolter in the squad so uh, five uh, strength five ap one damage three with three shots heavy and sustained two so kind of nasty and uh, they also get a guy who has six attacks at five two two hitting on twos so he the, the that company champion is also good at fighting he plus the captain who's going to be in the squad plus a couple of uh face slapping attacks from the other guys i think is going to be something that will maybe do some damage to things especially depending on the captain that you join with them so what you're essentially getting is a chunky hard to get rid of the relatively cheap squad who has a captain in it who does his captain thing whatever that thing is uh, and it usually will be some sort of a named character which we'll discuss later and i think of them as a, a sort of a fake centerpiece unit or where you are giving your opponent something nice and shiny and bright and put that onto the central objective at some point in the game and make them shoot at that try to charge that and whatever they're going to throw at it it's probably it will most likely be inefficient because of the minus one to wounds that you have on the squad and uh, the fact that you can still use armor of contempt you can begin cover so on and so forth and the best best thing is that you are very cheap the squad is very cheap even with the captain 95 points plus whatever the captain is worth it's still not that efficient so your opponent will be wasting their time in most cases losing the resources that they are not spending on your actual damage dealing units and you are high oc relatively so you will probably keep the objective whatever the objective you are on for a long time 
So captains for joining the squad, I think there are several good options. Uh, Vulcan is definitely like probably the best one. If you're playing Salamanders, you want company heroes with Vulcan. That is a no brainer uh, because he gives that uh, buff for Melta and Flamer guns. And uh, he's also just very good. He gives the unit a four up shrug, I think, or something like that. So he gives the unit incredible uh, durability uh, as a bonus to their already good durability and can fight reasonably well so yeah company heroes with Vulcan is a must-have you play in Salamanders Marnius Kalgar is also good because you're essentially giving uh, Kalgar an awesome pack of ablative wounds who can allow him to actually get to where he's going and do his damage and he can do quite a lot of damage with his fists and uh, he also can I think advance and charge so they will have the mobility to get there Adrex Agaton uh, another Salamander character is potentially also nice as he gives the uh, whole squad rerolls to wound and also halves the objective control from uh, units that are within engagement range so the the chance of someone stealing an objective from you from that squad is very low and your role of interest if you are planning some shenanigans with ultramarines units deep striking and using the captain's deep striking ability uh, is also nice and probably there are some crazy enhancement combos with the stock captain that I I just don't have in my brain currently, but I'm sure there are some. If you know any, let me know in the comments. Now the Infiltrator Squad. These guys are the nightmare of every player who plays any army who uses shenanigans in the movement phase, or teleportation shenanigans for that matter. Every Grey Knights player, every Gene Stealer Colts player, every player who really likes to use the crystal for the Thousand Suns or whatever redeployment things you are using, uh, wakes up at night with cold sweat on their forehead, thinking about playing against infiltrators. Now, seriously, they block reserves within 12 inches of them, and that is strong because of the area of the circumference that you are covering with these five guys. It's, guys, it's crazy. Like, they can five men squad pretty much can cover the entirety of your deployment zone or a very big portion of the no man's land and a lot of armies nowadays either partially or completely rely on all of their mobility using coming from reserves and some of the best units in the game for playing the mission scoring secondaries rely on being able to redeploy where you don't want them to and just the sheer difference between being able to deep strike within 9 and deep strike within 12 is hard to comprehend until you actually see or feel that on the tabletop. And it will f sound like an anecdote, but those 3 inches actually do make all the difference. <laughs> Good players and good lists usually take into account the infiltrator problem in advance, so they have some ways of working around that, but it still makes uh, players uh, that play against you invest extra resources to do so, and that's great for you. Yes, they are kind of expensive. They are 100 points for the squad. And if you compare that to some of other chaff units you can buy and infiltrators don't do any damage whatsoever. They're even worse than the intercessors, if you can believe that. But as we've already discussed, the reason why you take them is not the damage. It's the support role they fill. And they also are awesome because they don't only block 9 inch dip strike. They also block the 3 inch things that a lot of factions have demons gray knights gene stealer cults and so on and as time goes on and new codexes are released i'm pretty sure we're gonna see even more movement shenanigans of that sort and those three inch deep strike abilities will be quite well maybe not a very popular but they will be available to quite a few factions they also get smoke keywords so if you really want to keep them protected uh, for example you've exposed them to actually cover your entire deployment zone and uh, an enemy unit can now draw line of sight to them and shoot them and you don't want them to be uh, outright destroyed you may want to use the smoke screen for one cp to get them cover and minus one to hit which is nice they also get six plus fuel no bane so uh two damage damage guns will not kill them always they will kill them most of the time and uh, they also regenerate CPs used on them on a 5-up. So they get this nice utility package with them as well. Obviously, they have grenades like all uh, Space Marine troops. So 
very nice overall packages no damage whatsoever but nice utility and obviously they have infiltrators ability i just forgot to mention that but it's in the name how how could they not have infiltrators i actually don't know if you sh should always use that because there are other units that you probably will have in your list if you're building a competitive list that will have infiltrators ability and i don't think infiltrators should necessarily start up close to your opponent because they are too expensive to lose for nothing so i would keep them a bit safer back in your deployment zone and only expose them when you really feel like you can be threatened by those uh, teleportation or reserves and now the ultimate cheap unit of the entire space marine codex i've already made a dedicated video about them so if you want to check that out for more details go ahead but in general they are just a very cheap uh unit for 55 points you get the typical marine stat line which is crazy i don't know how they really think that when intercessors cost 85 points these guys can cost 55 just i i would like to hear how they would explain that but in, in any case we're just now benefiting benefiting from this unless you're playing against space marines and they are essentially the t4 two wound space marine but the only difference is that they get four plus save instead of three plus and yes it does matter three plus save is much better than four plus however it doesn't matter as much because you will most likely be using them in the spots where they are either not exposed or you're consciously throwing them away so they will be dead anyways because your opponent will most likely over invest in, into them anyhow and they are not going to survive so for 55 points shut up and take my money unless your opponent runs a ton of indirect fire you are golden with these guys and even if they are firing their indirect guns into your scouts they're not firing their indirect guns into something more valuable they would be good just as they are just for 55 points you get a t4 two wound space marine five guys in the squad so you're already good at that point however uh, the developers decided that it's not enough so they've added infiltrators to them so they can now set up anywhere outside of nine inches from your opponent's deployment zone and your opponent's units uh, they have scout six so they can also move six inches at the start of the first battle round and uh, can redeploy every opponent's turn so they're like mini Calidus in that sense. Uh, very, every opponent's turn if they're outside of six inches from enemy units. So they have the ultimate mobility package in a unit that desperately wants mobility because that's how you're going to be utilizing them and obviously they are infantry so they can go through walls they get grenades if i'm correct they also get a sniper rifle which is a very nice sniper rifle for the strength 4 ap2 damage too so you can sometimes maybe even do two damage to a character for essentially nothing in points uh, and that sniper rifle is heavy obviously uh, and you get a missile launcher in the squad which can be swapped by, into the heavy bolter but I think missile launcher is better uh, which is strength 9 AP 2 damage D6 hitting on a 4 plus so again for free you're getting some anti-tank shots from these guys they also get assault keyword on their shotgun so you can advance and do actions with them what else could you want in a squad like this any space marine army that does not have at least one unit of the scouts i have big questions to that person why like why are you not getting and adding these guys into your list because they are awesome so that was my top five support units of the space marines again these are not characters so we're not talking about combi weapon lieutenants librarians and other things that could enhance our army very much i'll do a separate video about those in the future uh, but if i've missed something if you think there is another good support unit that i didn't talk about please let me know in the comment section below i may have missed it it is quite likely considering how many data sheets space marine have in their book and i will see you next time thank you for watching